Well, by now we're into 1959, and I was out of the Navy, and I had all these pictures autographed by other people from the Latin Casino, but my goal was to, uh, to meet Sinatra, to hear him sing in person, to see him, to meet him, to get his autograph, to have a picture. So um, he was appearing at the 500 in Atlantic City, where it was foreign turf to me. And, uh, but I went down, and uh, I had my pictures with me. And I met the owner, the proprietor, Skinny D'Amato, who I learned afterwards. He was a very warm guy, uh, a real friend, friend of the underdog, uh, a person, a real mensch. And uh, so he said, sure, yeah, yeah, you can put those, well, you can put the pictures over here. And I said, whoa, whoa, I was not want to let you take them. I want to hang on to them. John, I just want to borrow them while he's here. Uh, I said, well, I want to meet him. Okay, okay, and you get to have a picture taken. So I went on the Saturday night. There was a line, it must have stretched two blocks, and I just walked right up and walked in. And uh, the people were in there were uh, Joe DiMaggio, Joey Giardella, who was the middleweight champion at the time, and Tony Bennett, Steve Marnitz, and uh, Edie Gourmet. Peter Lawford was there. And here I'm looking around this room you now. All these people, these, these, these giants. Uh, and here I was. I was making $55 a week. So in comes Sinatra. And here he is in this now. He's not across a room uh, with a thousand people. He's right in there with this intimate setting. And me. He had changed the sport clothes by then. And skinny took me over to him, and uh, he turned around, and as he pivoted and turned, I looked at those incredible blue eyes, and he smiled, and he shook my hand. Frank Sinatra reached his hand out, shook my hand, and uh, he said, thank you, there. he said, they're really terrific. And uh, as we talked a little bit, he talked about songs and what he was doing, and I told him that I liked him and I had his albums. In it. But I, I tried to avoid the things that everybody said to him. And uh, then he's, he suddenly interrupted himself and he said, See, Dad, that one there, and he pointed to one, and it was a charcoal sketch, 16 by 20. He said, May I have that? I'd like to give it to Natalie for a birthday present. And uh, I, na yeah, Natalie Wood. And uh, he had just made a film with Natalie Wood. So. As I said, I hadn't intended to let them out of my hands, and I certainly wasn't going to give them away, but how could I say no to Frank Sinatra? This statue was given to the fan club presidents. Every, every fan club president got, got them. I think they got them in New York, too, that girl that didn't want us to get anything. So we finally, we got uh, these, and I, I call it my Francis, you know, Tony and, and Grammy, this is my Francis. And I think it's very good. Can touch Frank real nice. <laughs> nice nose. He's got nice cheekbones. They called him a young Lincoln. Doesn't he look like Lincoln? Yeah. He's our Lincoln anyway. <laughs>